Hi, I'm Skyler. One of the first things I did when I got my iPad was pair it with my Bluetooth keyboard from my iMac. What this allowed me to do was set up my iPad on a desk and from across the room type away to my heart's content. So I used Pages, the word processor that Apple makes for iPad, and the cool thing about it was that it synced via iCloud with my computer. So I could go anywhere I wanted and use my keyboard and just start writing. It was really pretty wonderful. Uh, you could actually even do something so funny as sit on a park bench with your iPad in your bag and type away on the keyboard to do some writing. Actually, that's what I did often last summer. So another thing that I did in order to turn my iPad into sort of a mini computer was find a file manager. Now, I use something called phone drive, and that allows me to access a whole lot of different things and play media, yada, yada, yada. But there are a couple free options you might want to check out, like Dropbox. So here's Dropbox. Similarly to iCloud, it allows you to synchronize documents and files from one place to another. And what you see on the left is pretty familiar. So here's a folder, and if I tap on it, I see the contents of it. so on and so forth. One of the things that I like about Dropbox is that it allows you to drill down and to view text like this. It can work with a lot of different file types and it allows you great tools for sharing, copying, opening in other apps, printing through AirPrint. So Dropbox is actually, I think, one of the best file manager type applications for iPad. If you go to the App Store and search for something called File Manager, you'll find this one, File Manager Pro. This is like Dropbox in the way that I showed you, except it also connects with many other cloud-based services like SkyDrive, Box, iCloud synchronization, Google Drive. Um, it also allows you to download things through the browser and open from email. Downloading things from a browser is kind of crucial if you want your iPad to behave like a computer because you might want to sometimes download a zip file or a PDF. So those are a couple different basic tricks that you can use to turn your iPad into something more like a computer. Thanks for watching. I'm Skyler.